quite a lot of pieces. We've got a couple of uh, pop songs that we've got arranged for a string quartet. We've got a few tangos. We've got some solo unaccompanied pieces. So just just a mixture, really. I was about quarter past three. So um, yeah, this is the go and all over is my plan at the moment. What have I got today? Um, a bit of Chas and Dave, Squeeze, uh, Motorhead, Generation X, all sorts, Rolling Stones, Jeff Tweedy, all good stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, but was this all the stuff you were looking for today? Was it sort yeah, of it's One more I was looking for, which was an REM live album, but I think you only had one of it, and it had got, gone before I got it. So. Is this your first time here? Have you been here a few times? Came here last year, and I've been to Record Store Day the last few years. <laughs> Oh, so I've got uh, Pink Floyd, Source Full of Secrets in mono, uh, to go with my uh, Piper at the Gates of Dawn in mono from last year. Fantastic. And yeah. um, that's everything I came for, and uh, you had plenty of them. Four, five? Five years, I think. Probably the second year of you knew and we've yeah. been close. Kind of teased us into getting vinyls a bit more regularly and record players and things, spend a bit more money into it. So. And what like, attraction to like, Frank Harvey then? other vinyl shops. Well we both went to uni here, Drew's moved out now but I still live here so it's possibly the only one I know of, there was one in Fargo but I think that's closed now maybe, but it just looks pretty cool down here to be honest. Yeah, there's some food attractions as well. Yeah we haven't had any yet but I'm sure we'll <laughs> grab some on the way out. Every, every other year we have our fair share of the, the drinks and food, yeah it's so it's definitely it's great setup. So. Great day, well organised, nice spirit, live music as you can probably hear in there so welcome to. Uh, it's U2's uh, Europa EP, which ties in with the tour they did last year. So quite pleased that I managed to get that. It's my first time to Frank Harvey for Record Store Day. I have been doing Record Store Day for the past three years, um, but I thought I'd come and try Frank Harvey this year. I particularly like the fact that if you're the first 15 in line, you get to come in for the first half an hour and relax and have a little bit of a mooch around. And uh, I'm also quite impressed by uh, the food and drink that was offered to us when we came in. So we had a nice little orange juice and a couple of sandwiches and I feel quite satisfied. It's been a nice experience. Frank Harvey not only sell vinyl records but they also sell um, record players and uh, audio visual equipment as well. Uh, I bought my record player from here um, I bought a number of records from here over the, over the last couple of years and I quite enjoyed the experience, the sales experience they've given to me. I was really pleased to get down today and um, and help out for Record Store Day. Uh, I'm into a bit of everything, but um, yeah, we've been rocking some funk and some blues at the minute. And uh, actually, the record that's probably uh, doing the, the, the best for us at the minute is the Frank Sinatra record. It just sounds really good through the speakers and it feels like he's right in the room. A few people have commented uh, just saying, can we stay and have a coffee on the sofa and stay listening to these speakers forever. It's just come down and chat to us. Basically, most of the people in this industry, like myself, are just music lovers and quite happy to talk to people about music and, and, and the equipment is uh, really just facilitating what we're all here for, which is music. I think it's been getting more, more and more successful. Um, well, I think it started out, I think always had queues at the door. Um, I was saying they people come in you know, city hours in the morning to, to get there, to get their spot. And, uh, so, uh, so, but I've even bought a record today as well, so uh, I joined the madness as well. <laughs> so, I bought a, uh, a Japan single, um, which I was really, really glad I managed to get, because I had to sort of get the queue myself, so I didn't get any uh, uh, prefer preferential treatments. I think it's great for the community because you get like-minded people and we're talking to people in the queue 
uh, that you, you you remember from the last one, or, or you know, and talking about what records they've bought or what they want to find. And so I think it's great for for, for the music community, and and it's all all kinds of music because you've got you know massive uh, eclectic mix of, of music there. So I think as a um, you know for, for community spirit, it's great. That was really good. Beverly Foster wins first prize for the plain old one turn to the beat.